News time! Let's look at Paint on Fuzzy Skin and some other new functionalities. This took a little bit longer as expected, but I finally have some updates for you. For those who are new to this, in today's most common slicers, Fuzzy Skin is only possible on the walls of an object. A couple of weeks ago I've made a script that enables you to print Fuzzy Skin on top layers in Prusa Slicer, Orca Slicer and Bamboo Studio. I've now updated it and additionally made a new script that makes Paint on Fuzzy Skin possible too. This video will be split into two parts. First the changes and updates for the top layer Fuzzy Skin script and then the new experimental Paint on Fuzzy Skin script. I've made two scripts out of this as the Paint on Fuzzy Skin script is a bit more experimental and sketchier to use. Let's talk about the updates for the top layer script first. Last version was split into multiple scripts for each slicer one. Now it's one script only which handles all of them. And I have refactured the whole code for better readability. I will quickly repeat the base functionality for those who didn't see the last video. The script enables you to print non-planar fuzzy skin. In the last version you were able to manipulate it with the following parameters. Minus resolution followed by a number sets the segment size of the fuzzy segments. Minus set min followed by a number sets the minimum value of displacement. Minus set max followed by a number sets the maximum value of the displacement. Minus connect walls followed by 1 or 0 makes sure that the lines are connected to the walls. Minus compensate extrusion followed by 1 or 0 calculates how much more filament needs to be extruded to cover the additional distance. Minus run followed by 1 or 0 activates or deactivates the script. Now to the new additions. In the new version you can also do fuzzy skin on overhang layers. This only works if there are support structures active, otherwise you'd end up with a big mess. Let's look at the new parameters regarding this addition. Minus lower surface followed by 1 or 0 turns the fuzzy skin off or on for the overhang layers. Minus bridge compensation multiplier followed by a number multiplies the normally calculated extrusion compensation factor by the inputted number. This helps with bonding the overhang to the next layer. I suggest using a value of at least 2. Minus min support distance followed by a number sets the minimal distance the fuzzy skin has from the support interface layer to prevent bonding to the supports. Two other additional parameters I've added are minus top surface followed by 1 or 0 to turn on or off whether the top layer should get fuzzy skin. Minus fuzzy speed followed by a number allows you to change the print speed of the fuzzy skin. It's in millimeter per minute. Let's look at how to install it and how to use it. First of all you need to make sure that you have python installed. If not you can download it from python.org, the link is in the description. Now to run the script we need to know the location of python. For that open your command window by pressing windows and r and type cmd. Then type where python and you will get your path. Now go to my github page and download the script and put it wherever you want. The page is also linked in the description. In Prusa Slicer go to print settings and then output options and then first put your path to python into the post processing script text box and add quotation marks. After that put the path to your script in quotation marks too. If you are on Mac use this instead. In Orca Slicer go to the others tab. Scroll down and there you can add the same as in Prusa Slicer into the post processing script text box. In Bamboo Studio it works exactly the same as in Orca Slicer. Now how to use it. This is the same for every slicer. If you have fuzzy skin turned on it will automatically take those settings and applies them to the top and bottom fuzzy skin. If you want to run the script without normal fuzzy skin turned on, you can add minus run 1 after the script. It works the same the other way around. If you want to use normal fuzzy skin but not the script, just add minus run 0. You can always use all of the previously described parameters to override the default settings. It will always prioritize the parameters, just add one or more of them after the script. For example, minus resolution 0.4. Minus lower surface 0, minus set max 0 0.4. Just keep in mind that if you add a parameter, you'll have to provide a value, otherwise, you'll get an error code 9009. If you get an error code number 2 when running, there is most likely a problem with your paths. 
You can now slice your model as you normally do. In Prusa Slicer and Orca Slicer, the script will run if you save the cheat code. In Bamboo Studio, it runs when you hit Slice. Notice how the cheat code preview doesn't show the changes. This is because it's a post processing script. If you want to look at the sliced file, just drag the cheat code file back into the slicer and here you go. Now let's take a look at the paint on fuzzy skin. This is a bit more sketchy, but I thought I'd show it anyways because it's fun to play around with. The installation is the same as with the other scripts. Just make sure to grab the paint on script from my GitHub page instead of the normal one. Now in Prusa Slicer, you need to go to Printer Settings and add a new extruder in the General tab. Go to the Custom Cheat Code tab and add Semicolon Fuzzy Tool to the Tool Change Cheat Code box. You need to write it exactly like that for it to work. And you shall only use it with single extruder machines as the script currently is hard coded to tool 0 and tool 1. Now back on the plate, open the material painting and select your second color to paint the sections where you want the fuzzy skin to appear. One last mention, you will have to make sure that normal fuzzy skin is turned off in the slicer. Otherwise it won't work. That also means that you have to add the parameter minus run 1 for it to run. Now hit slice and save the file. And as mentioned before, to see the result, you can drag the sliced file back into the slicer. Let's look at Orca Slicer. First of all, if you use a Bamboo Lab printer with Orca Slicer, follow the instructions for Bamboo Studio, but in Orca Slicer. For every other printer, go to the edit icon of your printer. Then go to the Multimaterials tab and increase the number of extruders to 2. Now go to Machine Cheat Code and add Semicolon Fuzzy Tool to the Change Filament Cheat Code box. We can now proceed with painting the model. Make sure to use the second color to define where the fuzzy skin will be. And the same as in Prusa Slicer. It won't work if normal fuzzy skin is turned on, so make sure it's off and add minus run 1 after your script. And if you slice and save the cheat code, you can drag it back into the slicer to view it. Now comes the very sketchy part. Let's look at Bamboo Studio. We have to make a couple of changes here for it to work. First, make sure that you have two filaments. Now hit the edit icon on the first filament. Go to Advanced and add semicolon non fuzzy filament right at the start of the start cheat code. And at the end of the start cheat code add semicolon non fuzzy filament EOS. Then go to the filament end cheat code and add semicolon non fuzzy filament end at the start of it. And add semicolon non fuzzy filament end EOS to the end of it. Now save it as new filament copy, I'll call mine non fuzzy. Go ahead and edit the second filament. We need to do the same here. Add semicolon fuzzy filament at the start of the filament start G code. And semicolon fuzzy filament EOS at the end of the start G code. Then add semicolon fuzzy filament end to the start of the filament end G code. And at the end of it add semicolon fuzzy filament end EOS. Now save it too. I'll call mine fuzzy. Now one last step to do is go to the printer edit icon and then to machine cheat code. Scroll down to the change filament cheat code section. Then add semicolon fuzzy tool at the start of it and semicolon fuzzy tool end at the end of it. Make sure that there's no typos in everything we added. Now you can paint your model as usually. As in the other slicers, make sure that normal fuzzy skin is turned off and add minus run 1 after the script and now you should be able to slice and print. That's it for the paint on fuzzy skin. Now as a couple last words, 
First of all, thanks to all the people who reported issues and special thanks to GitHub users Timo Raab and Artemis1 who helped fixing a bug with the travel moves. I couldn't accept the pull request because I already refactured the code but it helped me fixing the bug. And thank you all for all the support I get with this. There were even articles about this little project on several different magazines. I never thought this would get that much traction. Now let's talk about the future a little bit. I'm currently working on an implementation for Orca Slicer and Prusa Slicer, so that this will hopefully eventually be a part of the official slicers. I'm nearly ready to release the first test version to the public, so stay tuned. I'm always glad if you report bugs or share results either on my GitHub or my subreddit, both linked in the description. This helps me to eliminate problems. I promised that I will release a Cura version too, but I'll need some additional time to do that, as Cura works very differently than the currently supported slicers. But it will eventually be finished too. If you want to support me, you can leave a like and a comment, and if you want to stay informed, you could also subscribe to catch future updates. But now, thank you all for the incredible support and happy printing!